welcome to the Ernest West Ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus. and sisters, uh, uh, hello again, good morning, um, uh, we got three more days left, we have three more days left, three more days left before uh, we go into a new year, we go into a new year, new promises, new blessings, we're going into something that we've never seen before. And I'm so grateful for it. Uh, this year has been a, a tough year. It's been a tough year, but God has brought us through it. Even me and my family, we've been through some difficulties. We've been through some hard times. We've been through some difficult moments. But God, regardless of what we've been through, what we've encountered, but God... God has brought us out on every turn. He's helped us in every area. Even with my son, Daniel, God is getting the glory. He's going to walk again completely without those braces. It's just a matter of time. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Think about it. Just thinking about it. Just if you look at it, if I look at it naturally, so just in the flesh, I'm looking at all my son. Can't walk. Oh, my son. If I'm looking at his condition. If I'm looking at his present condition, I'm sad. If I'm looking at his present condition, I'm just, 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 just depressed. But I'm not looking at his present condition. I'm looking, I'm looking at his completeness. I'm looking at his healing. I, that, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. The scripture said, by stripes we heal. He's healed. We are healed. He took those 39 licks. And so I know God spoke to my spirit years ago concerning him. He's going to raise him up. He's going to raise him up and he's going to get all the glory. God is going to get all the glory. This is just a light affliction. Just like this year, this passageway, a few more days. It's just a light affliction. Just like when the children of Israel was going into they, they could see their promised land. They could see their promise, but they had an obstacle. They had to go to dirty water, Jordan. They had to go to some. They had to go to some mud. They had to go to some dirt. But once they got through the mud, and once they got through the dirt, they were on the other side. And so, this is what I want to to say to you: Thought this year. Years before what you've been going through, you've been through some dirt. You've been through some mud. But you're coming out. You're coming through. You're coming through that, that promised land. You might have mud on your shirt, on your shoes, everywhere. But you're coming out. I hear God say you are coming out, sir. I can hear God say you are coming out, ma'am. You're coming out with an increase. By the fact, there's a, a J Bass experience where God is going to bless indeed. He's going to enlarge your space. He's going to enlarge your coast. God is going to do this thing for such a time as this. I speak and I prophesy that God is bringing a wind into your life. And in this wind that he's bringing to your life, he's bringing in blessings. He's bringing in gifts. He's bringing in healing. He's bringing in understanding. And I open and experience it, an epiphany. He's bringing in a, a, a deeper keen relationship of focus in seeing him. His voice is getting louder and louder and louder. And the reason why God's voice is getting louder and louder and louder it's because you're getting close to him. He's getting close. You're getting close to your healing. You're getting close to your victory. You're getting close to your joy. You're getting close. You're getting close. And there's two scriptures I want to read. There's two scriptures. I ain't going to read them. I'm just going to tell you, tell you what they are. 
One is uh, one is uh, Ecclesiastes eleven and one, and it says that cast your bread upon the waters, and it will return to you not many days hit. Cast to give to sacrifice. There's another scripture that says in Luke six thirty eight, given it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. By the same measure that you make, shall men give back into your bosom. Paraphrasing it. And I'm saying this to say that, like I did in the post, I think it was last night. I'm talking to you, sir. I'm talking to you, ma'am. God spoke to you sometime at some point this year about sowing a seed into this particular ministry to bless our ministry. And at the moment that you're getting ready to do it, some trouble arose. Some trouble arose. And the monies and, and the blessing that you had for the profit, you had to use it, you know, to take care of some business. There's some you even got God had put in your your heart to even to bless with a house, to bless with all kind of things that you you put in your heart. You said what you said. It was your relationship you said before God. And God heard it. And see the thing about it, three more days, three more days. If this ministry that God has put in my heart has blessed you down through the years, even this year, and you want to be a blessing and God has spoken to you, you said you're going to be a blessing. You said this year, you got three more days. Please obey God and sow that seed today because we can use it. God going to bless you for it. God going to increase it. God's going to multiply because I will say that there's a pressing need that I do have that has a lot to do with uh, being on live, uh, being able to do videos. You know, it takes a certain amount of money. It takes money for everything. Even Solomon said money on all things. And so if God is speaking to you, I know God has. Hear that voice and sacrifice and sow that seed today. Is that all right? God bless you. Have a smile on you. May God's, all God's best be yours. What I'm going to um, try to do, because it's going to be probably my last, one of my last videos of the year. I want to, my nine o'clock video tomorrow, Dolores, we all want to try to come on live. Come on live. Come on live. And um, again, uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm going to be live today on this particular video. Please sow a seed. Please hear God. Three more days. Uh, one of my uh, uh, things is PayPal. PayPal at Ernest West. Uh, Ernest West .com, I believe it is at Ernest L. West. You can go to my descriptions. Also, you can go to my cash app. All that's in my descriptions. My mailing address. All of that is there. Plus, but hear God. Hear God and, and do what God is speaking to your heart to do this day. Is that all right? God bless you.